I'm Miguel Moirena. I'm Nan McCurdy. And we are United Methodist Board of Global Ministries missionaries serving in Nicaragua. Before they married, Nan and Miguel served the vulnerable population of Nicaragua individually. But today, they are a team with a dream to empower the people in this region. And that's very clean water. Yeah. Their service it's runs deeper deep. than the water in this well. well. They strengthen the community through programs like this one. Our primary work uh, is with the Women and Community Association. This is a country where uh, the patriarchal system is very entrenched, where there's a lot of chauvinism, a lot of very serious abuse of women as well as of youth and of children. The Women and Community Association works with women, youth, and children in human rights, health, education, and economic projects so they can transform their lives and their community. Women and Community works with women so they can empower themselves and transform their lives, ending the gender violence against them, promoting women's rights not to be abused and violated, not physically, psychologically, or economically. Women are becoming aware that they are valuable to God, just like men. Our work is to orient women about sexual abuse and violence, about their rights and what to do if they are abused. Women suffer violence one way or another in their homes, at their work. It's hard when I go to invite a woman for a workshop and the husband doesn't want her to go and says no. No, que a esa hora no. Women in Community accompanies women in their process of getting out of violent relationships, of denouncing violent husbands and ex-husbands who don't contribute to a food pension for the children. We help women learn about the laws that protect them and their children. Women are realizing that God wants them to live happy lives free of violence. Women in Community promotes leadership development with youth. After five years of working with youth, there is an active youth network against violence. They are working with other youth in their villages to promote gender equity. They are learning about their rights as citizens, and they are recognizing that God made men and women to have equal rights. In the youth network, we've learned to be different from the culture of our ancestors, the chauvinist culture that's still around us. We learn about equality and to have gender equity, and that women and men have equal responsibility for the housework. Participating in the network has helped me realize that I have rights and that no one should violate my rights. Let me ask the group a question. If you feel you are being mistreated, now that you know what mistreatment means, 
Who are you going to go to first? La mama o la mujer the children today in school learn about types of violence they can suffer and how they can tell someone. And these are kids from very poor families who uh, live far from the school and they have uh, small scholarships to encourage their families to get them to the school because once they're at the school they get a hot meal, they get the education and then we're also working with the kids, the teachers and the parents around issues related to violence. The key is education and opportunity. Women and community provided scholarships to our staff. Thanks to this, today we are all professionals. Our education program provides scholarships to children and youth for primary, secondary and university education. The kids are all from impoverished families in remote villages where students live far from schools. We trust in God that these young people will be able to develop themselves. Women and Community supports women's health and capacity to take good care of themselves. God doesn't want women to just serve others and doesn't want them to damage their health giving birth to a ton of children. God wants women to be healthy and wants them to have the number of children they want as long as their health is good. Women in Community works with pregnant adolescents and girls who have recently had babies. They learn about their sexual and reproductive health and rights, and they go through a process to strengthen their self-esteem so they can make good choices and focus on their development before having more children. This is San Ramon, a village of about 200 families. Last year, 50 houses flooded here and the lake is still high. Women here have learned about their rights and they have a self-help group. Women and Community has loaned money to women for cows and to 18 women for small businesses. Women and Community promotes economic independence of women through training and low interest credit. Jesus always took the side of women and listened to them. I'm one of the women with a loan for a cow. I've had a dream to have a cow, and now this dream has become a reality because of women and community. For me, it has been a blessing. One of the things we do is meet uh, about 15 women every two weeks to talk about uh, our rights. Vamos también allá a San Francisco, donde nos invita María Feli, eh, y ahí pues, o sea, recibimos los talleres, lo que recibimos allá lo traemos aquí, se los informamos a. So we also we go the promoters go into San Francisco Libre together. We get trained on different themes and then we come back and multiply that training with other women. Aquí nos ha ayudado un poco a que al machismo, ¿me entiende? Que aquí antes pues los los hombres pues así son que ellos dicen que como ellos son hombres, solo ellos tienen derecho a hablar, ellos tienen derecho a hablar. We have a problem with, with machismo. The men say it, they're the only ones who have a right to do this or that or even to talk. Eh, y y nosotras las mujeres como que Solo estamos aquí como un objeto, nada más, and, solo and para parir. Women are here just like, it's like we're an object. We're just here to have babies. Y ya, ya conociendo nosotros nuestros derechos, ya los defendemos. Ya, But ya. as we know more about our rights, that we have rights, and what they are, then we can better defend those rights. Entonces, en eso nos ha ayudado bastante, pues, que, que ya ahora somos unas mujeres empoderadas. So that's what's really helped us. Now we're uh, much more empowered. También la ayuda que nos dan con, con los préstamos, ya trabajamos, ya nos resolvemos nosotros mismos nuestros problemas. And then she's also in another program uh, where she has gotten a loan. 
uh, actually she's on her second loan and she says that's also very empowering to get to get a loan and be able to have a small business and yeah, ya me here siento. here in my home I, I, I you can see we, we have felt changes already economically me siento que and I'm, and I'm able to dialogue more with my husband before I really didn't. Now it's not, not just fights and receiving the, the yells of someone. It's also helped me with my children. I understand more that, that the kids have rights too and you should listen to your kids. Sí, y, y pues, and dialogue with them. Sí, porque incluso fíjese que ya ya me visitan cuando mm -hmm. si So problema. women who have problems, she says, now they really see her as a leader in this area of human rights. And when they have problems, they come visit her, they talk to her, she counsels them. And if it's a, a major problem, then she accompanies them to our offices in San Francisco Libre to the police, etc. This is the Little Snail School in the impoverished market sector of Managua. It provides preschool, primary education, and food for the children of people who work in the market. The children can study here in whatever situation the parents can send them like without notebooks and pencils. We provide that. The school is for children of people who sell in the market. Some parents sell things at stoplights. The population knows the school works hard with the children and treats them well. All the parents want their kids to finish their studies with us. All of us, the teachers, have college scholarships to provide better education to the children. We are learning new methodologies to provide higher quality education. Our objective is to become better teachers to help each student get ahead. The September 14th Baseball Academy provides the opportunity for underprivileged kids to play baseball. About 400 kids ages 7 to 15 play on teams year-round. They learn teamwork, organization, and the fun of a team sport. There are major and minor league players in the U.S. who got their start here. That's the dream of many of these kids. Some of these kids don't have a father around. The coaches play a very important part in the kids' lives, providing an example, teaching, coaching, being consistent, and showing an interest in the children's development. It's, it's important for the kids to come here instead of hanging out on the street where they could start using drugs or something else that could hurt their future. They're better off here. It's very important for the Baseball Academy to continue and to be open to all the children. It's very important that this academy is maintained. All of these programs bring hope and are possible with your support of the Advance for Christ. Through the local church, you can support missionaries. You really, it's the covenant relationships, the churches who go that extra mile to be a covenant church that allow us to be serving in Christ's mission here in Nicaragua. They are not only helping us to be missionaries and to do the work we do here in Nicaragua, but they help all United Methodist missionaries throughout the world to know God and to have a better world in our times.